everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I have a more serious topic. It is going to be a talking head video, but this one is such an important topic because everybody complains about this and I don't see too many people changing the narrative. So here we go, all right? So in case you guys didn't know, um, in recent news, I accepted a VP position over at Phoebe Medical. And that means I'm going to be the VP of business development and I'm going to be reaching out to many people like you for help. That's pretty much the best way to say it. I'm going to be going over contracts and stuff around the whole United States. I'm going to be going to schools. I'm going to be going to businesses. I'm going to be going to medical campuses. I'm going to be visiting people. We're trying to understand what's going on in biomed today. What type of stuff are you guys confronting as an entity? And how can we, either as a company or as a career field, how can we change things for the better? So that brings me to why I'm making this video. I made a formal announcement by sharing a post by Tech Nation, which <laughs> uh, it basically announced that uh, this was going down, that this was really happening, that I'm joining forces with Phoebe Medical. And the response has been insane. It's been, I, my phone has been going off, my email's been going off, so many people have reached out to me, and I am so incredibly humbled and grateful for all the support that you guys have given me. It's much crazier than I ever anticipated. So here's the thing. Some sergeants that I had the, the honor of serving with back in my days in the military, they reached back out to me, and they congratulated me and whatnot, and you know, I just wanted to let them know that, hey, you're part of the success story too. This isn't me, okay? This is what your conduct, what your behaviors, your technical expertise helped mold me as a junior technician into what I am today, whatever this is. And I want these people to know that you guys were part of this story, all right? And you still are. And it brought me to today's topic, your effect on the future of biomed. A lot of people don't know it, but almost every person out there has or hopefully will have some sort of effect on the future. You might have somebody that is serving with you in the military. You might have a junior technician. You might have college kids that even come up to you and ask you questions about their career field. Your demeanor, your professionalism, your technical expertise, it is all being weighed at every single moment that these people are talking to you. Every moment. They're thinking, is this the right thing for me? Is it the right decision? Are these the type of people I'm going to be working with? They're thinking of all this stuff. So anyway, guys, first off, I just want to thank you all for your support. The past sergeants that reached out to me, I've, I've worked with some amazing people, and I am so humbled that they have followed me. Some of the guys I didn't even know uh, have been following me for years and uh, throughout this whole journey, and they reached out to me. It, it's been phenomenal guys. These are people that I really look up to. I've had a lot of mentors in my life and this is why this topic really happened because some of my mentors are no longer alive. They will never know the effect that they had on me, my career, maybe on some of my personal judgments, maybe my financial outcome in life. These people have had an effect on every single aspect. They might not know it, but they're no longer around, but their knowledge is. And as I've said in other videos, I've, I worked with somebody back in um, Charleston. His name was Tony Farmer, and he is no longer around. But some of the knowledge that Tony shared is still here. I'm still here showing it to you guys. So a lot of mentors have come and gone. We all know that there's going to be a shortage of biomeds. So there's a whole generation of people that are coming into the career fields. Not all of them we're biomeds. I mean, some of them are electricians, we got plumbers, we got facilities guys, we got a whole bunch of people that are coming into biomed. And the thing is, is not everybody was privileged enough to go through some sort of formal biomed education. Some people were just kind of fitted for the position. But that doesn't excuse you and me from having some sort of effect on their life and their career. Our personal conduct, our professional conduct, the every lesson that you teach to them whether advertently or inadvertently, it's going to stick, whether or not you want it to. So that's why I wanted to talk about this stuff. You guys have heard that many of the older biomeds out there, 
aren't sharing their knowledge. And think about that. Uh, it's like the chief complaint in our career field is people want to keep proprietary knowledge and just stick to the whatever it is that they do, not teach anybody. Almost every hospital has this problem and it's almost always older biomeds. And if you can't tell, I have shared almost every secret, every little piff, epiphany that I could possibly come up with. I've been sharing it all with you guys. There is absolutely nothing held back because you guys are along for the journey the same as me. But a lot of older biomeds out there, they just don't think the same way. And maybe even some of the younger ones don't think the same way. They think the only way to get ahead in life is to get really good at something and then be the guy. All right? Well, I can tell you for a fact, as somebody that's gone through every step of the biomed chain, that's the wrong answer. It is absolutely the wrong answer for multiple reasons, guys. Not only because there's no backup plan, all right? You guys have all been burned by the no backup plan. Well, that's all right. But there's another reason why as you progress up the chain, you should be training other people. Yes, there is some moral duty, all right? But that's not it. Here's the thing. As you progress through your career, your pay is gonna steadily increase. Just because your pay increases does not mean that you should be doing the work of two or three people. As a professional, it is your duty to make sure that you are using your resources correctly. And you, as a senior technician, going out and doing PMs on a whole bunch of patient monitors is not an effective use of your pay line and your skill sets. It's just not. That's, yes, it's nice and easy to go out and smash through 30, 40 PMs before lunch, but that is not an effective use of your manpower. So here's where it comes back to training. It doesn't have to be formal, but if anything, if you're a senior biomed, you should have the integrity to be willing to train other people and the fortitude to follow up on it. It's not easy. And to have the patience and allow somebody to fail, instead of just showing somebody how to do something real, real quick, maybe show them the first time, but the second time, let them do it. Let them fail. Don't be like, ah, 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 you're gonna fail. And let them fail. Be like, don't do that. And then you watch them fail. I told you not to do it. Why'd you do it? You know, there, there's reasons for everything, but you gotta let people fail sometimes, all right? So guys, this is what I wanna get past to you. If you're a senior level biomed out there and you're watching this, the general goal is to get paid more and do less work. I guess that's the correct way to put it. But here's the key is that's the natural progression of all career fields if it's done correctly. As long as you have a support structure in place and you have a regular training regimen stacked on top of it, you should have fresh people coming in. Your more experienced people should be the ones leading projects. They should be doing less work, less of the grunt work, and more of the administrative or managerial work. That's all there is to it. The thing is, is you can't do that if you're hoarding proprietary information, you're not willing to train people. If people in your program are doing that, you have a defective program and that's all there is to it. Anyway guys, I think I've used up enough of your time. You all have an effect on the future of biomed. And when we put out requests for either additional content or for suggestions, whatever you have, this is you contributing to the project. This is the project, this channel is a project. Your biomed shop is a project. The intern is a project, all right? And every single piece of this puzzle has an effect on the future of biomed. So guys, get out there, let's contribute, join your, your HTMA organizations, be a productive member in this society because you're gonna be the future and if you're not the future, hopefully you're training somebody that is gonna be the future. That's just the way the world works, right guys? Anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And this weekend, MD Expo, Las Vegas. Hope to see you there.